Hurricane Ian caused nearly $115 billion in damages. That makes it the most costly storm in Florida history. But believe it or not, the storm made the state tens of millions of dollars in profits. NBC2 chief political reporter Dave Elias continues his week-long investigations into Florida's insurance crisis, showing you where the money came from and how it's being spent. While Hurricane Ian destroyed 5,000 homes, just like these two that you see here on Sanibel Island, and it damaged 30,000 others in communities like Fort Myers Beach, Cape Coral, and Matt Lachey. The storm generated more than a billion dollars in sales tax. Florida's chief financial officer wants to see that money go to property owners. Hurricane Ian ripped through Southwest Florida in September of 2022. Our foundation sat at 13 feet above sea level and it was underwater. So doing the math, that was a 26 foot surge. The storm causing more than $115 billion in damages statewide. Our house was a complete loss. TJ and Lisa Lanners, like many, were forced to rebuild everything, spending hundreds of thousands of dollars. With all that pain and suffering, the state becomes a beneficiary. CFO Jimmy Patron is pointing out that the state made money during Ian. Hurricane Ian generated $1.4 billion and new revenue for the state from sales tax. That sales tax came from all of the money you spent to rebuild. That's pain and suffering money. That money, in my opinion, is obligated to come back and help those in how their relief and how the recovery takes place. The bulk of the money going to the My Safe Florida Homes. That's grant money to help strengthen your home and bring down your insurance rates. This is just one way we're ensuring that you get your dollars and power to put back in your pocket. Beginning tomorrow, the state begins its tax-free holiday on things like doors, windows, and other items to strengthen your home. That sales tax exemption expires June 30th. Now, it's important to point out that the state doesn't have any grant money available right now in the MySafeFloridaHomes.com, but they will be replenishing that as early as July. On Sanibel Island, Dave Elias, NBC2. Make sure you join us tonight at 8 for our NBC2 special report on Florida's insurance crisis. We're looking at everything from how things spiraled out of control to how you can save on your policy. That's tonight at 8, right here on NBC2.